Okay, so for our vegan steaks, we are going to be use whole portobello mushrooms. I have six. And for our potatoes, our creamy mashed potatoes, we're going to be using uh, the red potatoes. I used the whole bag. Okay, we're going to be using balsamic vinaigrette for the mushrooms, garlic, steak seasoning, salt, And for the potatoes, we're going to be using garlic salt, this all-purpose garlic and herb seasoning, secret ingredient for these mashed potatoes, half and half. It makes the potatoes so creamy, it really makes a big difference. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. And a red onion for the mushrooms. Okay, so we are going to be using two cups of the balsamic vinaigrette. Y'all really don't do measurements for but for the sake of this video, I am going to try. It's two cups. And we're going to use two tablespoons of this steak seasoning. One teaspoon of salt. and two tablespoons of minced garlic. You don't have to use two tablespoons. You can use more or less depending on how much you like garlic. And I cut half of this large red onion. We're just gonna throw that, throw that in there. And we're just gonna massage everything in. Now for the mushrooms, I do recommend uh, max 24 hours for it to marinate minimum three hours the longer you have it marinate the better it will taste so I'll see you in a few hours okay so I did go ahead and cut up those potatoes and now they're boiling While those potatoes cook, we're going to go ahead and start grilling our mushrooms, our steaks. So I am going to use this George Foreman grill. You do not have to use a George Foreman grill if you don't have one. You can bake these or you can cook them in a pan. Okay, so I did let these mushrooms marinate for about five hours and this is what they look like. So after about six minutes, these are what the steaks are looking like. 
y'all I, I don't know why I put that for right there excuse that <laughs> Let me know, have y'all ever tried mushroom steaks? And if you have, how did you like it? All right, now we're gonna go ahead and fry the rest of them up. Not fry, I'm sorry, grill. Okay, so these are what the steaks are looking like after they're all done and grilled. Now we're gonna get started on the mashed potatoes. Okay, we're gonna start with the half and half. I use one cup. Then we're gonna add a tablespoon of that garlic and herb all-purpose seasoning. We're gonna add a tablespoon of garlic salt. We're going to add about three to four teaspoons of butter, not teaspoons, tablespoons of butter. Go ahead and mash. All right, this is the finished recipe. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think. Did you try it? Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.